with meteorologist Chad Evans. Okay, I got a lot of farmers watching tonight, and this is what you want to see. This is what you want to be doing here over the next few days. I know in the state of Illinois, zero percent of the corn crop has been planted, and the five-year average by this time is 29 percent of the crop should already be in the ground, and it's not. But I've got really good news. I've got a lot of wind on the way, a lot of sun, and very warm temperatures. That means the soils will dry out. They're, they're going to warm up. So hopefully we'll get some field work done this weekend. We've got Friday through Monday with highs of 80 to 85 before rain and storms arrive. Now it looks like they're moving in earlier. They could be here as early as late morning now on Tuesday and lasting into Wednesday. And some of the brand new data that's fresh this evening is unfortunately bringing some of that heavier rain to our west into the area, trying to bring in a couple inches of rain into some of our Illinois counties. That bears watching and another kind of wet and cool snap headed our way just in time to start May. But let's focus on the good news first. Tomorrow, a great day. A little windy though. A lot of sun. 80 at Perrysville to around 85 again along US 50. 83 Shoals, 82 Bloomington, and a lot of 82s from Casey and St. Marie and Terre Haute all the way back to Effingham and near the Mattoon areas. However, that warm weather, even though it's going to hang around for several days, it will come to an end. Notice with the outlook, again, 80 to 85, windy and warm tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, into Monday, windy, a lot of sun, and again, those temperatures into the 80s. But here are the changes. Tuesday, this front, even though it's going to stall out and produce a lot of really heavy, heavy rain west of us, is going to start sinking slowly to the southeast as high pressure moves off to the southeast. So I think some rain and storms could get in here again by as early as late Tuesday morning, midday on Tuesday. And a few of these storms may be severe, mainly west of the Wabash River. And some of this heavy rain, the data is indicating some of this may affect parts of the Wabash Valley. Now, it looks like very strong rising air motion due to this split in the jet will create a lot of rain and storms in this area. It's looking like the heaviest of the rain will stay west and northwest of us. But again, we're going to have to watch this very closely. I think west of the Wabash, we could get a couple of inches of rain the way it looks now. Tuesday into Wednesday, and the front's going to come through on Wednesday with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Rain will end during the evening. Thursday's looking okay with highs in the low to mid 60s, so a little cooler, but then a wet pattern starts back up again. In fact, the first week of May, this will be the wet corridor from the Ohio and Wabash Valleys all the way back to Oklahoma. This corridor will be a conveyor belt for areas of low pressure and deep tropical moisture. So heavy rain will be possible just in time to start May. And I think we could get a couple, three inches of rain out of this to start the upcoming month of May. So unfortunately, a lot of rain on the way and cooler than normal temperatures as we get to over the next week and a half. So partly cloudy, breezy, mild tonight, lows of 55 to 60, 80 to 85 tomorrow, windy, mostly sunny. Winds could gust to nearly 40 miles per hour, but check out those highs. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, 83 to about 84 degrees before some heavy rain may affect us and even a few severe storms Tuesday into Wednesday. Decent on Thursday before more heavy rain moves in just in time to start May. Mark Patrice.